Yo guys, what's going on? Zace is here today with another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about server shutdowns in the Cycle Frontier, how you can abuse them, how you can work around them, and when you need to be worried when you're in a raid. Do me a favor, make sure you drop it a like on this video, and of course, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We might have already hit 100 subs by now, but if we didn't, make sure you're getting me one step closer to 100 and then 1,000 subscribers. That is our goal here on the channel, trying to hit 1K. We'd love for you to be a part of it. So, in the background, there's going to be no gameplay because we're literally just going to be focusing on the information here today, and I'm going to do my best to give it to you as quick as possible. So here we have some game service notifications. This is in the notification log. I also made a video about this if you want to know more about how to use the notification log. So here you can see when I was in a raid, I stuck it out from 20 minutes to 5 minutes, and I want to talk about this raid specifically because unfortunately I don't have the footage for it. I did delete that footage on accident, uh, or else I would have had it in the background for you. But how did I abuse the server shutdown in this example? So I want to be very clear that in this specific example, there was a storm between 10 and 15 minutes. So this will not happen every single time to you. Here in this example, there was no storm. So we're going to talk about this bottom example, and then we'll talk about the storm example, because the storm one is a lot easier to abuse. This one here is not. So here I got a 20-minute server shutdown warning, and basically when you get a shutdown warning, you cannot pull an escape from Tarkov. In escape from Tarkov, when a server is shutting down, you can sit anywhere on the map. You don't have to extract, and it will automatically extract you as survived, and you will keep all of your gear and loot. So basically, if you have a million rubles worth of gear in Escape from Tarkov and there's a server shutdown coming, you can sit in a corner, in a house, in a closet, and extract successfully, and you will keep all your gear and all your loot. Here in the cycle, it's complete opposite. If you do not extract, everything on your kit will be gone. There is no getting it back, and I actually do not know if insurance will kick in for these server shutdowns because technically you didn't die. So keep that in mind. But when it comes to this example, I really can't give you any guidance or advice on how to abuse the server shutdown and get yourself more loot or face less players. Because, as I know, at this 15-minute mark, there were still players spawning. At the 10-minute mark, there were still drop pods coming in. I don't know if that was a bug or not, but right here, even between the 10 and 15-minute, there were still players spawning in. So... What that tells me is that either the system is flawed or it's intentionally like that so you don't abuse shutdown warnings. So when it comes to the no storms on shutdowns, I don't know what to recommend. But here, it's a little bit different because between 10 and 15 minutes, I had a storm, which was a little concerning because the storms usually last about five minutes. So I had 10 minutes in the raid. I was with my duo and I said, look, we just had a storm and we have a shutdown warning with 10 minutes left. We are not going to see another player on the map because of the storm. Typically, you will see right after a storm about six to seven drop pods come in, assuming most of the prospectors are off of the map. This time, I didn't see that, and I recognized that opportunity right away. We were near dig site when the storm was done. No pods came in. I recognized the opportunity right away, and what I did was told my duo, let's go to jungle, let's go to crash ship, Let's loot up because we are not going to face another player this entire raid. What we did is we went over to the crash ship and jungle. There wasn't even any marauders there. They had all been killed and had not respawned. So we went in. The crash ship loot was all there somehow. We looted the entire crash ship. We got the five minute warning on shutdown. And I said, yo, we got to extract. And we had a long ass hike. We had to go the whole way over to waterfall from crash ship. But the beautiful thing about the Cycle Frontier is when you know there's no players on the map, you can just hightail it wherever you want to be because what are you going to run into going from Crash Ship all the way over to Waterfall? You might have a Marauder on the way, but as I said, there was no Marauders on the map. And the worst we have to worry about now is Striders and Rattlers. So this is on Bright Sands, by the way. Um, we just hightailed it right to Waterfall. Didn't have a care in the world. We extracted. We were good to go within the five minutes on the shutdown. I do believe there is a one minute shutdown warning, but I cannot confirm that. So, you know, it's one of those things where if you get a storm between 10 and 15 minutes here, you will be able to abuse that lobby if no drop pods come in. And it's something you need to know about. That's exactly why I'm making the video. So if it ever happens to you in the future where you get the perfect storm, literally, 
you can get yourself a lot of extra gear and loot with your squad. Guys, it's going to be it for the video here today. Sorry for no gameplay in the background, but I really wanted to just make sure we're all focused on how to abuse the server shutdowns. Gameplay in the background might distract some people, and I really wanted to make sure this information came across perfectly. So hopefully I did a good job at that. Of course, make sure you're leaving a like. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Sponsored equipment description below. It's going to be it for me. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'm out.